I just miss those times when there was no worries and you could just do that, but it's, it's hard, I mean, I miss her. My name is Joe Valenti. I go to York College of Pennsylvania and I'm originally from King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. My most influential person would have to be my grandmother. Uh, she was a captain in World War II as well as a nurse um, and she, she just always told me all these amazing stories of what she went through and every time she told me a new one it would just inspire me more. When she was in the war, one, on the ships, one of the ships she was on it got bombed and she had to jump off and everything. And when she got ashore, all her clothes were burned off except for like a sacred heart metal that was burned into her chest. And there's, there's still markings there um, that never went away. When she was a nurse and she was in the uh, helping the wounded, a German officer actually came into the campsite and attacked her, but she had a knife under one of the pillows and she actually fought him off. Um, she never told me if she actually killed him or not, but she did fight him off, which is pretty impressive for especially a woman in World War II doing all these great things. She actually met Patton. Um, she, on one of the uh, sites, she, she wasn't wearing her hat, and he came over to her and yelled, yelled at her, like saying, you should wear your hat here. And she actually just yelled right back at him, I'll do what I want, and she walked away. So her meeting Patton and actually saying that to him is really impressive. She just had such willpower, um, and she got through so much, and it it really inspires me. Like seeing how much she went through, it gives me confidence that I should and can get through all my difficult times because what she went through was so much worse, and it just gives me a lot of confidence about what I can do and what I can't do. My last memory that I remember of my grandmother was. Uh, watching one of her favorite shows together. Her and my grandpa loved all the old shows, like I Love Lucy, Abba Costello, all like that. And like what I remember last doing was watching Abba Costello um, with my whole family. And it was just a nice time because they, they always felt comforting. So it was always a comforted feeling being in their house together. Um, and it was really just a warm feeling. And I just really miss those days where you just sit around, no worries, just watching shows with them. She uh, unfortunately passed away a couple years ago, around 2010, 2011. Um, and she'll never be forgotten though. She just had such an impact on all my family's lives.